when we're early in the, in the journey, sometimes it, it does feel like we need to pay rent and that commission check is important. And I'm wondering if you have some strategies for someone who might not be, call it in a privileged situation or abundant situation that, okay, my basic needs are taken care of. I'm understanding that I need to focus on others, but it seems like there's so many of my needs that seem so pressing. What's a strategy we can use here? Is it to ignore those, focus on the others? Uh, I'd love to build a bridge towards that that promised land of being more focused on others. Well, so when we say, yeah, you know, I really like this idea about, you know, being focused on others, this go-giver stuff and all that. But, you know, I really need the money now. So I'll focus on that other person once I don't need the money. Again, that brings it back as though the premise is you're doing something self-sacrificial by focusing on them. And I'm going to suggest you're much better off if you need the money now, you're much better off finding a way to focus on them and add value now. Because remember, it always goes back to they're not buying because of you. So let's say, for example, you're the prospect and I'm the salesperson. Okay. And I really need the money. So, you know, forget about this go giver stuff. I'm focused. I'm going to go into this conversation with you and I'm focused on getting your money. Right. So, so, you know, I, yeah. I ask some questions because I've been trained to do that, but the questions aren't really to understand where you're coming from as much as they are to, to know how I can sharp angle you into a close. Okay. Uh, when you have an objection, I answer it, but you know, I kind of use the standard answers because I'm really not listening to your objections. I'm trying to just overcome them and get past them because these objections of yours are standing in the way of my money that I need right now. Okay. So I'm even a little bit defensive when you, when you, when you have your objections, because again, you're kind of, you know, standing between me and my money, right? This is the eye focus, right? That, that, that this is when you're right. Uh, I'm closing too soon and I'm closing too often. And by the time I ask you for the order, are you more likely or less likely to kind of have the trust in me that I have your well-being at heart, you know, and, and, and more likely or less likely to buy from me and probably less likely. Okay. So now let's take the same, I'm the same person. I still need the money. Okay. But now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not going to deny my self-interest because first of all, we're always self-interested because we're human beings. So, you know, uh, successful people deal in truths. And so we don't deny them, but we work within them. Okay. So I'm not going to deny my self-interest, but I am going to put it aside. I'm going to temporarily suspend my self-interest and place my entire focus on, on you. And so I'm going to ask you questions and I am going to listen and I am going to ask clarifying questions. I am going to make sure I absolutely understand your needs, your wants, your desires. I'm going to find ways to be able to add insights. It's going to help you uh, mitigate challenges you may not even know you have and strengthen you in ways you may not even know you have. But I can only do that because I've really listened with a genuine caring, okay? Only when I absolutely am sure that I uh, that I understand what you need, want, and desire, am I going to connect the benefits of my product or service with those needs, wants, and desires. When you have an objection, I'm going to welcome that objection. I'm going to congratulate you on the objection. And I'm going to assure, assure you that we need to be able to work within it and answer it to your satisfaction if we're going to be able to proceed and have you you happy, okay? And so what I'm going to do is instead of giving you some standard answer that we learned in sales 101, I'm going to work with you together at getting to the root, the heart of the objection so that you truly understand the objection yourself, which you might not. And I don't until we really know. And then from there, we can work through it together. And, you know, by the time, Jason, I ask you to take action and, and I ask for the order, you're simply going to be saying yes to something you've already told me you want to do. Okay. And, you know, my question would be, are you more likely or less likely to say yes, to want to buy? And the chances are the answer is yes. So focusing on the other person's needs as opposed to your own 
is not only the way to have business coming in long term, it's the best way to have business coming in short term as well. 